I have vascular Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. I have vascular Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, or VEDS. Vascular EDS is a condition where there's tissue fragility, which manifests in childhood, mainly with easy bruising, thin skin. Sometimes facial features appear a bit pinched. As people progress, there's risk of hollow organ rupture, which includes bowel, bladder, when someone's adult, that might include the uterus. And then the most concerning part of the diagnosis is the vessel fragility, so people are at risk of vessel dissection and rupture. The primary issue in vascular ehlers danlos syndrome is that the collagen that is produced is defective collagen. And collagen needs to be wound up tight like a rope structure for it to be strong and provide support to the tissues. And in vascular ehlers danlos, when the collagen is defective, then that instead of having a nicely wound braid, it is more of a messy braid. For that reason, there's this arterial fragility that we see. They get diagnosed for one of two reasons. One, they're in the more severe category, so they have a lot of bleeding and bruising, and they've often been referred from a hematologist. And then there's a group of patients that get referred because a parent had an event. It's invisible. You can't tell. And that doesn't mean that the person isn't suffering and hurting and having problems on the inside. I really liked like basketball, and I wanted to join a team, but I can't. It's not safe. My skin rips daily, constantly bleeding, uh, bruising. I rupture veins every day. I had two bowel obstructions when I was 18. My sodium levels dropped so low that I had a seizure and I dislocated both of my arms from my shoulders and I had fractures on the top of both bones and I had ligament tears. Women uh, with vascular EDS are at higher risk for hemorrhage after having a baby, whether they have a vaginal delivery or a C-section. You know, I know my mom, every time I call her, hello, it's, it's a little hesitant. And I have to say, you know, hey mom, it's fine. It's not just me living with anxiety and fear, but it's also everyone in my family. My dad passed away, my brother passed away, my brother Mike at 49, my brother Steve at 42, my brother Tom at 40. But we grew up rough and tumble guys, these are my friends. So how it feels to lose your friends. My husband will fall asleep, but I stay awake because I'm alive today. I don't know what's going to happen the next day, the next hour, the next minute, even the next second. I don't know. We've brought a group together of patients and scientists and researchers under the umbrella of something called the Vascular Airless Downloss Syndrome Collaborative. And it's so hopeful that you know that you've got all of these people in your corner that are pushing and aren't going to give up until they find something to help us. It is life-saving. It is a family that I am so proud and happy to be a part of. They will always be my family members. I want to have fun. I want to have a good time. I want to make memories and I don't want to have any regrets. I'm just so excited for the future. I'm getting married in October. I just have so much that I want to do and I'm not ready to stop. To be all together, it feels magic. It's just more supportive than anything else I've experienced. We just have a lot of things in common, and it's really nice to just be able to be with someone that's just like you. I think there is reason to be hopeful for VEDS because our data and some of that already published does show that outcomes are better than the previous long-term studies. We've really come a long way with research to inform the way that we can tell a woman if a pregnancy is safe or not, and then give them you know, treatment options that they can have a family if that's something they want to do. We've helped to explain things. We've helped to get people to know each other. We've helped to make adaptations in the world. In the short term, if we can have people live longer without aneurysms and dissections, I believe that that would expand the life expectancy. One of my other hopes is that we diagnose people early so that we can alter that natural history course. I love you. I love you too.